Hi, I'm Brad with Orbit. Today we're going to talk about winterizing your sprinkler system. Along with all of the other winterization that you do in your landscape before the snow sets in, you'll want to make sure you drain your sprinkler system. This is important because any residual water left in your valves or in your sprinkler lines can freeze and break the components of your system. To prevent this, we're going to go through a few steps you can take to make sure that it doesn't happen. Come on, let's go give it a shot. There are a few tools you'll need to winterize your system. A screwdriver, a shutoff tool for your stop and waste valve, and a pair of pliers. And there are three basic methods you can use to winterize your system. You can blow out your system with compressed air, use manual drains, or use auto drains like this one here. We recommend that you use two or three of these methods to ensure that all of the water is removed from your system. The first thing we're going to do is shut off the main water valve for the sprinkler system. If you have a stop and waste valve, you'll want to close that as well for the winter, and that'll allow any residual water to drain. We'll turn off our main valve, and as you can see here, we have a manual valve installed on the line. If you have manual valves, make sure all of them are open. We'll go ahead and let that drain until all of the water has come out of the line. In addition to manual drains and auto drains, it's always a good idea to drain your manifold. You can drain your manifold by removing the end cap if you have a pre-assembled manifold, or if you've installed a ball drain on the end of your manifold, go ahead and open that to let the water out. You'll also want to make sure that you let some additional air into the lines by loosening the bleed screws on the valves And you'll also want to loosen the solenoids as well. This will allow any water that's trapped inside the solenoid port to escape. In addition to the methods we've shown you here today, it's always a good idea to blow your system out with compressed air. We recommend you hire a contractor to perform this service. For more information and how-to videos, please visit us at orbitonline.com.